once again in the Jeep. I know it's been a while since I have made a video where you actually get to see my face, but here it is in all of its wonderful glory. So in today's video, I am going to show you how I do my puppy shots at home. Like before, stuff it with frozen uh, ice things, ice packs. Um, if you don't have ice packs and you have a good um, feed store that provides them, they will offer you ice packs. But you need to keep these refrigerated until you are ready to purchase them. So I'm going to put this bag aside. So these are the puppy shots that we use. They are the five and all. They protect against all of these nasty viruses and stuff. I know, I'm like, I can't think. So the bag comes sealed. I have been getting my shots from the same feed store for several years now. Um, even before I started breeding the Malmutes as puppies, I got all my shots for all my dogs from this feed store, so I trust them. They do the job correctly. Alright, so when you open up the bag, you should have a syringe with a hypodermic needle. You have Parvo vaccine. This is actually the liquid. Actually, there's a sticker. So there's a sticker on this bottle, and what you do is you pull this tab right here. You pull that tab, and then you peel this part off, and you want to place the sticker on the packaging. Just like that. So then the packaging goes in the puppy shot record, with, and the puppy and the shot goes together. And that way, if anything does go wrong, you have all the information you need here to make sure it goes right. This file has the same thing, so you remove the tab and place the sticker on the packaging. So once you have your stickers on the packaging, it's time to open the needle. This has a safety package on it, so that you don't get, you know, stabbed. You twist the back off. It should make a popping sound because it is sealed. You pull the needle out of the packaging. And what I like to do is make sure, I just twist the needle to make sure that it's on there tightly. Um, the last thing you want is a loose needle while you're trying to mix your medicines. I call them medicine, but they're vaccines. We are mixing vaccines. So what I do is I pull the plunger back I pull the plunger back to two, these are millimeters, then you place the plunger in 
to the liquid vaccine. Like so. Sorry guys, I'm doing this one-handed. Then you push the air in to the vial. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna line up your needle. I don't know if you can see it very well, but you line up your needle so that it's flush with the gray rubber stopper. Turn it upside down. Turn it upside down and release your thumb and the air you pushed in will actually fill the plunger with the liquid. All right, now it's time for the powder. So you take your needle, it's gonna, there it is, needle, place it in the gray stopper, okay? All the way down and the pressure mixes it for you. Not all the way though, however. So, what it does mix it really well. If you don't think it's mixed enough, what you can do is roll it. You don't want to shake it because if you shake it, it creates too many bubbles. I usually roll it in between my palms, the palms of my hands. But since I'm doing this one handed, I had to, you know, show you. So, anyway, there it is, all mixed up. So then you'll, oh yeah, and you always want to make sure that you cap your needle for safety. Then again, you pull your syringe back to the two millimeter line. This is the lowest line one can do. All right, so you pull your syringe back to the two, one, two millimeter line. Place the syringe into the tube. The vacuum will suck the air out. Then there's a there's like a little peak hole right there, so you want to line your syringe up to make sure. I don't know if you guys can see it because of the flash. If not, I'll turn the flash off. There it is. So yeah, you can't really see it. Hold on. And you still can't really see it, but you want to line up. There's the little peak hole. Okay, you want to line it up so that your needle is somewhat flush so that you can suck all of the liquid out. Then you take your syringe, pull the plunger back. It's gonna be a little bit tougher because you're fighting against that vacuum. This is why two hands is good. And you want to keep it up like this to ensure that you get all of the liquid. All right, then you want to make sure that you push the liquid into the needle, making sure that there is no air. Oh, sorry, bud. Kick the dog while you're doing this, because that makes everything better. All right. You want to make sure that there's no air trapped in the syringe. I mean, it's not going to really make it hurt, but, you know, it's for the safety of the puppy. Make sure there's no big air bubble. and repeat. Alright, so my first victim here is a female Alaskan Malmute. She is eight weeks old. She was born June 25th. I can remember that because it's my anniversary and we were having babies. Are you ready, baby? Alright, can... Alright, so when you're giving the shots, it is important they have a diagram on the back of the shot stretch on the oven. So they have a diagram right here on the back of the shot. It shows you where you can put the shot. I like to do the shot in between the shoulder blades. I think that it's easier for me to get it done and it's an easy position to find. She's going to move. So. so anyway, what you do is you find the in between the shoulder blades right here. There's her shoulder blades. There's the in between part. What you're going to do is you're going to pick up this loose skin and you're going to make a tent. Okay? And right there where the tent is, where your thumb is, you can see that tent. You're going to put your 
shot at a 45 degree angle you're going to insert it in to the skin not in necessarily into the muscle and then you're gonna give the shot I'm gonna demonstrate that now okay so all right so here's your needle here's your needle you're going to come over here maybe a little bit higher all right there you go so you're going to take the cap off of your needle you're going to find the tent they need to find the in between the shoulders tent the shot go at a 45 degree angle in and then inject rub it cap your needle This is our other female Alaskan Malmute. She's eight weeks old. She has this defining spot on her forehead. And the other really neat thing about this particular pup is she is potty trained. She will actually go to the back door and whine, not just scratch, when she's got a poop. So she's a blessing. And her official puppy name is Katana until she finds her forever home and then she'll be called whatever she wants to be called, oh honey. Yeah. Okay, so in the, I'm going to show you one more time how to do this. So you're going to grab this. Can you see the tent that I'm making, Elijah? Mm -hmm. Okay. You take your shot at a 45 degree angle, insert it into the skin. You push until the there's no more pressure or resistance. Then you inject the vaccine, remove, rub it in. <clears throat> Always recap your needle so nobody gets hurt. And you're done. It's that super simple. This is Alani. Alani, can I see your face? Hi, honey. This is Alani. She is not up for adoption. She's already found her forever home. But she is super, super pretty. Hey, Alani. She's like, hey, what's this? Can I help you give my brother some shots? Yeah, hers is a good girl. All right. Okay, so this is Thor. He is also eight weeks old. He's our only male. Yeah. And he's super fat and super fluffy and super sweet. Hey Thor, what's going on my man? But you definitely want to keep an eye on them, monitor them for any possible side effects, diarrhea, fever, and all that wonderful stuff. And yes, we are in my kitchen. My kitchen's a multi-purpose kitchen. You never know what's going to happen in it. Hey Thor! Hey, what's going on man? What's going on, buddy? Hey, guy. Oh, look, there's Holly. Hi, Holly. And Adamicus. Hi, guys. So, um, usually they're all together. But on shot day, we like to keep the puppies separated from the bigs. Oh, there's Lonnie. Um, just, you know, it, it's the less chaos. And we got a puppy with some poops. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Alani, you're so pretty girl. You're so pretty girl.